What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. Uh, it is the Earthmaster here with an update video on this Tuesday, uh, November 23rd, 2021 to date, uh, about 4 p.m. California time and quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up around the globe with the latest quake, a 2.5 earthquake in Hawaii at the moment. Looking at the USGS map here shows quite a bit of movement throughout the North America uh, area you can see on this map right here a lot of this activity in the microquake department uh, so the uh, earthquake lobe not really picking it up earthquake lobe only showing the 2.5 and above but uh, this map here kind of paints a different story with quite a bit of movement throughout montana idaho uh, area where they had a 4.0 earthquake ramping up around the sawtooth fault area of idaho also in the pacific northwest this area is still remaining rel relatively quiet except for a 3.1 off the coast of Oregon, uh, just on the west side of the Cascadia subduction zone around the Blanco fracture zone out there in the Pacific. You can see movement throughout California still kind of kicking up, still kind of watching that pretty closely here. Uh, a little earthquake north of Redding, 19.1 kilometers. This would be contributed to the tremor activity that we've been seeing uh, kind of picking up again around the southern Oregon when we get tremor activity the subduction of the Juan de Fuca plate it tends to create these uh, earthquakes uh, and so, some of them can be uh, measurable such as a 2.4 most of the tremor activity uh, very low when it comes to producing any type of magnitude but it's uh, uh, definitely ramping up there in in the uh, southern Oregon area far as subduction uh, tremor goes into southern California area we're still seeing that swarm of movement along the sand or the uh, San Andreas Fault Zone, you can see right here in this little map here, quite a few cluster of uh, microquakes kicking up around the Pinnacles area. And these depths here, very variable is the key today. There's a lot of different um, magnitudes here at variable depths along the fault system. So that's kind of a sign of uh, some further movement here in this region, uh, something to keep an eye on very closely. Uh, Long Valley Supervolcano and Antelope Valley area Things kind of quieting down a little bit in that region of the state, uh, Ridgecrest area as well. Um, looking over here at the Southern California range, some movement along the San Jacinto Fault area and also the uh, um, the San Andreas Fault Zone uh, on the southern end. But uh, I think the bigger picture right now up here in Montana and Wyoming area. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone thumbnails real quick and see if we can uh, kind of look at what's going on up here. There is the four-pointer that struck in Idaho earlier today that showed up pretty nicely on the stations throughout the Yellowstone area. Since then, this here's a four-pointer in Idaho. Uh, even though these are um, uh, Wyoming stations near Yellowstone, it still will pick up uh, measurable or sizable earthquakes within the region. Seen a little swarm of activity as well kick up. Some of these quakes showing up from the Idaho activity as well. Aside from the 4.0, we've seen uh, quite a few twos and some threes kicking up as well. Those earthquakes showing up on the seismograph stations there in Yellowstone National Park. As uh, far as independent Yellowstone activity goes, just a few small microquakes over here around the northwest or northeastern corner, and a little bit, just a little bit of activity localized here in the uh, northwestern part of the Yellowstone area. Aside from that, uh, Yellowstone uh, fairly quiet for now. No major movement going on there at the super volcano. Earthquake activity throughout the eastern part of the country looking somewhat uh, quiet today along the uh, eastern region. A little bit of earthquake activity along the Kansas-Nebraska state line. 3.1 near Weber, Kansas, 5.0 uh, for the depth there. Also, look over here along the Gulf. This activity here, uh, I believe, was from uh, earlier this morning. So things are still kind of ramping up in this area of the uh, North American plate. If we look at the last seven days, we can see a swarm of activity within this region. We haven't seen any type of main quake here. All of these have been uh, roughly in the low to mid four range, as far as magnitude goes. So we're still kind of keeping an eye on things here in the southern part of. Uh, uh, Southern California and throughout the Gulf of California uh, for some possible further movement down here in South America things relatively quiet except for uh, as we work our way up here around the middle America trench some movement near El Salvador a 5.4 also some activity down here around the Puerto Rico and the Panama area 
all seen a little uh, earthquake movement today. Uh, Puerto Rico Trench getting in on some activity, not a whole bunch, but uh, movement nonetheless. And of course, as we look over here along the Fiji Islands and the Tonga Trench regions, earthquakes are returning with their deep um, signature right here, 527 kilometers for a 4.5 in the Fiji Islands area. Off the coast of Japan, we are seeing some further movement here in the northern part of the Kuril. Uh, Kamchatka Trench. This activity relatively deep into this trench region. This is an area I've been watching pretty closely for the next potential mega quake, either this region or uh, the west coast area. Things just kind of been awfully quiet here when it comes to releasing uh, a sufficient amount of energy, like it's uh, the accumulation to energy release has been uh, kind of awkward here. We've been seeing a lot of strain in this region of the plate lately within the past few months and uh, it's just kind of hasn't really released sufficient pressure in my book um, so we're still kind of watching this region but these deeper earthquakes contributing to further stress up here in this region of the plate so be on guard there Philippines and the Indonesia area all seen some deeper earthquake activity as well with a lot of these looking pretty sufficient uh, not too fond of that 66.6 number that one striking the Philippines area uh, with a 4.9 magnitude earthquake. Over here in Iran, we did see a 5.0 earthquake strike a little bit earlier, uh, actually a short time ago. 10 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. Things kind of ramping up here in the northern part. Look at Greenland up here, getting in on some action as well. Uh, 5.2 near the north coast of Greenland, 10 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. South Sandwich Islands area looking pretty quiet today. But uh, things kind of moving around. But look at look at the map up here, folks. Just quite a bit of movement throughout the North American continent here. Uh, although the Pacific Northwest relatively quiet. Uh, so we'll see how things progress today. Just uh, appears to be bumping up a little bit, getting a little busy in the earthquake department. Solar weather activity remains calm with only a small little elevation of a sea flare threat. 15% chance in the sea flare uh, department everything else looks pretty quiet no major solar storms or any type of geomagnetic forecast or uh, geomagnetic storming in the forecast all right folks gonna jump off here uh we'll probably be back a little bit later to another update just kind of um trying to keep the channel updated and going uh don't forget to subscribe and uh like the channel or videos i should say subscribe to the channel like the videos there we go and comment if you wish to see anything else included, I do try to cover La Palma when it uh, does kick up and when it does produce um, some changes. But as uh, far as, you know, uh, looking at the daily log when it comes to uh, the La Palma volcano, things just really haven't um, excelled too much. Yes, it is a pretty serious um, event over there, but as uh, far as any changes go, nothing major going on at La Palma. Still seeing some... Uh, of course, elevated earthquake activity did have a 4.7 last night. Uh, today, you're looking at uh, quite a few twos and threes kicking up in the La Palma area. All right, guys, have a good day. We will be back a little bit later on with a further update video. Until then, peace out and uh, stay safe out there, guys.